Okay, I'm going to do a very simple lined drawing of Kamala Harris. So if you don't or you can't print those coloring sheets, you can always draw your own picture. And right now, if you want, you can follow along with me. I'm going to start right in the middle by making the shape of her face kind of like a letter U. So I'm gonna come here and curve in. And then I'm gonna go over to the other side around the same height and curve in the other way. So what I'm getting is the shape of her face. It's like a letter U. I'm gonna find the middle and come up a little bit and put a dot where her hair is gonna start. So I'm gonna draw a line over to the side like that and like that, and that's gonna be her hair. Now, right in the middle of this U, I'm gonna make the bridge of her nose. That's just the line of her nose. And then over on the side, I'm gonna do the side of her nose, and then I'm gonna draw, those are just little curved lines, and then little rainbow shapes to show the bottom of her nose. Right at the top of her nose is where we're going to make the top of her eyes. So right next to her nose, we're gonna make two rainbow lines, and I'm just going to make a dark dot right in the middle to show her eyeballs. And then let's add some eyelashes. She wears some eye makeup, she looks nice. And you can even put the bottom of her eye by just making a curved line underneath. And then let's do an arch above her eye to show her eyebrows. Now, under her nose, I'm going to make her mouth. I'm gonna start by just drawing a straight line in the middle of this straight line, I'm gonna make a bump to one side and a bump to the other side, and then one curved line underneath like a happy face to show her mouth. Let's do two short lines for her neck. Up here at the top, we're gonna to make a little diagonal line to show the part of her hair. And then we can draw a line that comes down. And I'm actually gonna draw another line like this to show her hair. And over on this side, I'm gonna make a curved line that goes from the middle of her eye to the bottom of her nose to show one of her ears. This ear will be covered by hair. And this ear we can show. And let's draw a line there. And I'm gonna make lines to show her hair. I might actually make a line here because it looks like her forehead's too big. Then I'm going to draw a line that comes out past her head to be her shoulders. And I'm going to put little circles to make her pearl necklace that she likes to wear. Next to the necklace, I'm gonna do a V shape and a straight line across to make her wearing a suit. Next to the suit, I'm gonna draw a line that comes halfway, then a straight line out and back down. Same thing on the other side, a line halfway, straight out and back down. And let's make a line here to look like she's wearing a suit coat jacket. And then lines for her arms right here. And I can make a line here and here to show her arms. And then to finish off her hair, she kind of has layers. I'm going to draw a lines that are like zigzagged right here to show the layers of her hair. And there's my really simple Kamala Harris drawing. To color this like Wadsworth Gerald, I wanna use lots of bright colors and I'm gonna use markers. You could use colored pencils or crayons and I wanna include words to color in the picture. So something that Kamala Harris said is that what I want young women and girls to know is you are powerful and your voice matters. So I wanna include the word powerful and I think I will use red for that. And I'm gonna put that along so I'm gonna put powerful
right there inside her coat, her jacket. And I could even write, she said, your voice matters. So, matters right there. And I kind of want to fill it in with all of these words. So I'm going to get a brown to kind of do her skin. And instead of just coloring it a solid color, we can put some of these words in there. So I'm actually going to really close together, write powerful. And maybe I'll even put your voice matters. And that can be like a shadow right there. Matters, T-E-R-S. Just like that. Maybe I'll make her coat blue. And I'm gonna repeat those words. Your voice matters. You are powerful. And this is how I'm gonna color in my picture. I'm going to use letters and dots of bright color. So instead of just coloring it, like what she actually, the actual colors of her, I'm gonna color it in with lots of bright dots and colors. I decided to write the words and marker and do the rest of the color with crayon. So I wrote lots of words all over her that say, you are powerful, your voice matters. And then I did dots of color to create sort of areas of shadow. And then lightly I colored it in with crayon. I wanted to create that sort of purple suit that she wears and her brown hair. And then around the background, I added those words again. And I created those dots of color by making dots with markers going around my dots with circles and then going around those again and then coloring it with crayon.